because when you know your history you become smarter than you are usually because your history is your strongest point in life if you know your history then everything else will be very simple for you how are you doing i'm fine thank you and you fine so can you please introduce yourself to the audience hello guys my name is sarah and i am nine years old i am a student and i have a youtube channel please subscribe to it uh, at um, wonders of the david's family youtube facebook and instagram so thank you as a young person what do you want to be when you grow up i want to be a scientist i also want to be an archaeologist i also want to be an astronaut and so many other did you choose all those professions okay so scientists because uh i want to save i want to um, find new ways to uh, for many different things that we are doing now like nowadays we are using lots of machines which uh emit toxic uh, air into the, our environment so i want to um upgrade these make them do the same thing that they're supposed to but this time not hurting our environment because in, our environment is um part of our earth and many animals live here and if and we also depend on nature ourselves so yeah that's why i want to be a scientist i want to be an astronaut because i want to discover space since um technology is one of the uh, main priorities of being of being on this earth you need to develop you have to level up each time and you have to renew yourself sometimes so that's why i want to discover new places on the universe so that we will understand our universe more better okay so so what do you do in the field of science particularly like for this virus what do you do in the field of science of course first there always needs to be a cure before you start anything new so there we know that there's many viruses out there killing people but now this is our major problem now so we have to find a cure which won't kill people and won't cause more damages to the human body by finding it okay so what is the second priority to finally get rid of this virus the second priority is always prevention and nowadays you have to um nowadays we all know the security and safety rules yes which is very very simple to follow so we have to spread these more to some more people so that the the most the most priority of every single thing is knowledge the more knowledge you know about something the more you know how to prevent it or how to stop it entirely okay thank you so i heard that people are trying to discover what is on mars if you go to space would that be your number one priority to do before doing anything else yes because um nowadays we are all um hearing lots of news about mars like there's martians on mars people still think such things so i want to be there to debunk some lies some lies that have been staying with the whole human race through centuries okay so you want to debunk the lies Yes, I want to debunk the lies. So that no one will be fooled by these lies ever again. Okay, so what are you going to do after going to Mars in space? Would you discover Jupiter? Where would you go to? What will you find out? What will you discover? I would have to I will maybe discover more moons because there's this um, theory that um, Jupiter has more moons or Saturn or Saturn has one more ring so let's see if that's true uh, another thing is part of is part of our human priority part of our human um, body and our human connection that makes
makes us human is to discover new things. We cannot live without discovering new things. The whole history of the human race was based on discovering. That's why there's different periods of time, different and different inventions in each period of time. Okay, so now back in this field of science, after making a cure for coronavirus and getting the Nobel Prize, what do you do in the field of science? Ah, there's many things to do in the field of science. Uh, first thing, you could also stay in viruses. You can still be helping more and more patients, like you'll be the doctor's best friend. And then, the, then there's these ones that are astrologists, which um, discover that um, actually from below and not like, they are somehow like astronauts, but they do it from the ground. I don't actually go there. Okay, I, I get what you mean that there's many things to do in the field of science but if you are ever to cure a virus that is ongoing like coronavirus right now let's say any virus in the future what do you do about the virus uh that is a very tough question so as i said prevention is the best cure future maybe there will be more different um, ways to prevent viruses so you don't really know to the, f the future till you go to the future yes I agree so you said you wanted to be an archaeologist what is exactly an archaeologist okay so an archaeologist is someone that um, digs artifacts finds artifacts is maybe something like a historian the historian writes down the um, whatever the archaeologists found so that they can retrace back history together. Because when you know your history, you become smarter than you are usually. Because your history is your strongest point in life. If you know your history, then everything else will be very simple for you. Okay. So, what do you do as an archaeologist? First thing, there's many lost histories in many different parts of the world that people might have forgotten or people are, that have been destroyed. So, I will try and fix each puzzle again and again to find actually what's happened to whatever subject I'm following. So there's many um, places in Africa which there is um, lots of artifacts but no one really knows what they are and some of them are not even in Africa anymore. They are maybe in Oxford University or somewhere like that. Yeah, so I'm trying to retrace, I will try and retrace all the history back so we'll all know what really happened to each tribe in the world. What really happened to the Canadian tribes? What really happened to the Mexicans? What really happened to the Haitians? We will all know those things, questions that historians have been boggling their heads for years. Okay, so as an archaeologist, do you want to discover history that have been forgotten and erased from the earth? Yes. So, now that I've heard about what you are doing, by that, by what you are doing in as an archaeologist, what else will you do as an archaeologist after discovering stuff like when you are when you are not doing your job? What are you going to do for free time? What do you do your, for fun? So first thing, uh, for fun, usually I would like to um maybe do a very nice crossword puzzle or maybe start drawing or telling stories because those are my um, strong points or let's say my boost boost of creativity for myself okay uh, and that's what that's what I want like to do on my free time okay
Okay, so thank you for telling me the information about yourself. What do you want to be after these three occupations? Okay, first I want to be maybe yeah, an air engineer. Yeah. Okay. Most of these will be engineers. Okay. Okay, and after an air engineer, I also want to be a doctor, half-time doctor. Okay. Maybe a, a pilot too. Okay. And those are the ones. Okay, so it means that you really want to like help the society a lot. Uh, yes, I really want to help the society. So you're going to do anything to help the society and make the world a better place to live? Yes. Okay, so thank you for telling us a little bit about yourself. I really enjoy how you think. Thank you for making this video with me. And bye guys and, and have, have a happy day. day.